work they do, the watershed builders and otherwise. Um, welcome to John Porterman. How are you doing? Howdy. It's Wells Watershed Coalition. Thanks for having me on the show. Never get on our area waterways, people, without picking up some of the garbage you see along the way. Absolutely. Never go along a little trip without grabbing some cans and, and I promise the kayaks. You, some, some of you have a little dry storage, some you can just throw them back behind you. That's right. Show. And you know what would be even better? If we could stop Nestle sucking up our aquifer water and selling it to us as plastic bottles that people throw away. How about that? How many of those companies are finally moving to a little bit? Correct? Well, I don't know, but it uh, Nestle isn't. No, they no. would. No, the plastic scourge continues. You're exactly right. And anybody that uh, brings home that, that 36 pack from Sam's Club of any given brand feels guilty when they sit there. Uh, I scrunch them small and then put the top back on just so I don't feel quite as guilty. Mm. You, should talk, you should have submitted a song about that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that and, and that sound could have been part of my music. Yeah, there that's you right. Go. There you go. Question. All right. That's it. Uh, talk to us about the event. What makes the event? It is this Saturday. It's actually in the afternoon. It's 1 5 p.m. this Saturday. And the Salt of Snapper is on board too. Is it year three or year four? Year two, actually. Is it? No. No, no we're, we're such an institution. But it seems like it's a. Uh, no, my, my buddy from down the next year is from the park. It was just last year that he was involved. I guess so. Yeah, it's a big park. Alright. Yep. Uh, hi, David. How are you doing? Good. All right, so who's involved this year? Who's the actors and the songwriters that we're both, what, talking about before, of course? Well, we can have that on here. Uh, we have seven this time. We've got them from Atlanta, a fellow named Scott Perkins out of Smyrna, Georgia. Turns out his sister lives here. They're, they're bringing the whole posse. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah, he's going to sing about until the waters of the Swanee bring you home. And speaking of uh, Live Oak, Dick Grillo from down in Advent Christian Village, he's got a he's got a song worked out with the year old Swati. And coming back again, Jay Jordan of Jacksonville will save our Swati if we work with someone this time. Who was last year's champion by the way? Well uh, that was Laura Dalasera. She's going to be singing. And we got a couple of headliners coming up with the one finalists. But not competing. No, not competing. She liked it so much she joined the organizing committee. Nice. No, that's right. All right, I'm going to skip over a few just to get down to Tom Hofstrand. What's his voice like? Tom, well, he's a, he's a singer. I kind of like his voice. <laughs> I think he's a storyteller. I think that was he's a storyteller, too. And yes, he's from Valdosta. He's one of several from Valdosta. And he's going to be singing with the Gucci Watershed. Yeah, it gets real local after that. Kyle Chamberlain out of, out of uh, Adel. Uh, Doreen Olson out of Pehira, Sabrina Dietz out of Sparks, and of course Tom right here. Yeah, Doreen was about one mile from me. Uh, and uh, so and we got uh, David Brown. And it says the video of the Kyle Chamber of David Brown. But uh, I think Camps. And every 
somebody else right on the right there next to the fellow. And here's something even better. We already own part of that land that abuts to that. So That's right. We can buy the remaining and it would really be something special. Right, and it's very inexpensive because it's all floodplain. You can't use it for anything else. These river camps, uh, if you want to see what they're like, on September 21st and 22nd, we're on the Swanee. We're going to stay overnight at Local Creek River Camp. Yeah. Tell me the young lady, not so young lady, but the young lady that was offered up that thing. I had her on the air. Uh, Helen Tan. What? Yeah. What? What? Yeah, she's from around here originally, and it's her and her cousins so on that land, and they would like to sell it. She's in Atlanta now, right? No, she is, but she's back down here from time to time. Checking out her floodplain land. That's right, that's right. <laughs> I think that's a natural. I think, that, again, she told me the price when she was on the floor. It's very affordable. I think that's something we should ground it. Not even. Well, this is support coming from Tarps and Drag from the city and county. We'll see what happens. We can group it. Yeah. <laughs> right. It took six years for the bill that mail and road ramp. We don't do that. There you go. The Swanee River came to songwriting contest. Uh, lots of fun music, storytelling, and otherwise, and all very regionally oriented. It's out at the uh, Salty Snapper this coming Saturday from 1 to 5. Get out there with John, Chris, the whole crew, and all these great songwriters. Go, John. Well, oh wait, hit me I just want to say I got to thank Georgia Beer Company, our top tier sponsor, and all the other sponsors. And we have a, uh, a salad auction with all sorts of things. And we gave us an auction. Yeah, we're going to have graphics. Come on down. Got a graphic. We're having fun today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then we'll get you the broadcast from it all the water. There you go. It's possible. That phone actually can act as a broadcast. We've got to get you to do it. Got to talk to you. Hit the uh, we're great. We come back to the agencies and area uh, volunteers. They're all piling up right now. I see Molly Pees and the rest over there as well. We're Talk 92.1. It's a good spot. Y'all just stay here. I know. I should come here <laughs> my last day on the air. Oh, you say that now. Scott, I heard that maybe you need to go like put something.